What's up guys, Mech's Tech Guy here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a device for your vehicle. This device is called CarLog and its sole purpose is to monitor your car, whether it's for security reasons or vehicle health. So to get things started, opening up the box reveals some paperwork, which you will need to read. Following that, you have the device itself. Since this device is gonna be in your car, the design doesn't really matter. It is sturdy, uh, which is great for durability. The top portion consists of the car lock logo and the bottom contains the pins in which the device will be plugging into. The inside of the device is where all the magic happens, which contains the GPS antenna, motion sensor, backup battery, and a GSM antenna. And yes, I did say GSM as in GSM service. This device does require to be activated and uses GPS and GSM location services for tracking. To get things up and running, you will need to go ahead and create a car lock account. Simply go to the website and the instructional guides and you'll be asked all the required information such as the activation code that's on the car that came inside the box. Once the account has been created, you can then move on to plugging in the device into the car. This device should fit in most vehicles from 1996 until present, as long as the vehicle has an OBD connector. Typically the connector is located under your steering wheel, but above the pedals, it is in the shape of a trapezoid. Once you see this connector, simply plug in the device. Next, you will need to download the CarLock app from the Play Store or App Store. If you're using your computer, simply go to the website, which is in the description down below. Once logged in, you should see the app try to locate your vehicle, but if not, it is recommended that you drive the vehicle for a short distance just so the GPS and the GSM signal is located. So this device, as mentioned earlier, has two purposes, and that is for security of your vehicle to the health of your vehicle. Security-wise, this device provides notifications if your vehicle is started, if there's any unusual vibrations, such as someone trying to get into your car to even towing, and will also let you know of any harsh driving conditions if someone else is driving your vehicle. I find this device very beneficial for businesses that have company vehicles and want to track vehicles. Not only will you be notified the trip distance and the duration, but you will also be notified of any harsh acceleration to even harsh braking to ensure your drivers are being safe on the road. I could also see this being very useful for parents who want to keep tabs on their recently licensed teenage daughter or son to ensure they're being safe on the road as well. You can set a speed limit so that you're notified anytime that speed limit is exceeded. Now, as for vehicle health, the last thing you want on your mind is to find that your car won't start and you're trying to get somewhere. I've been down this road many times and I don't believe anyone likes that feeling. Essentially, car lock monitors the battery voltage and anytime the voltage is lower than what it needs to be or the battery is drained quickly, it will notify you. This is pretty much a way for your vehicle to communicate with you, letting you know that something's up with the battery and you may want to look into it or replace it before you're stranded. However, if you can be ahead and prevent this from happening, you might earn yourself a towing fee to even a repair fee. All this is great, but without the location services, it would not give you the information needed to keep you informed. That is why this device has a GSM and GPS antennas built in. That's why this device has a monthly subscription. However, if you want the most accurate and advanced tracking monitor for your vehicle, then this is the way to go. Well guys, that wraps up today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Huge shout out to CarLock for sponsoring this video and if you want to learn more information, please click the link down below. As always, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also press that subscribe button to stay up to date on my uploads. Catch you guys in the next one. Later.